Today, night, I'm going to make a window cover for my back window and a two liter side window. And uh, what I'm going to use is some old paper, A4 paper, any old newspaper if you have. And I got one of these. I'm going to cut them later. And also some tape and a marker pen. Step one, I'm going to just use this paper and put it like uh, against the window on the edge and use the tape, tape all around. And then I use this pen to get a shade of my back window. Yep, I already did this last night, so this step there's no video. And uh, let's see what I made. This is the one that I end up like this. And this can fit on the window. Let, let's give it a go. Let me try, see if it's perfect. I might have to go to inside of the car. Let's go. So after the step one, you will end up with a back window shade like this. And the second step, we're going to put this on, on top of this. And you just need to draw like use uh, any marker paint, draw the shape out and we're gonna cut it and then also I did my side window as well so I'm just gonna do this at the same time So I just still use this piece. So now we got three, all three pieces that I want, and I'm gonna draw them on my fabric, any fabric that you like, I guess. And we do the same. Just put this on top of fabric or the other piece, and draw the shape, and then we need to cut the fabric. And. This is the second last step, not too far to go. Uh, I forgot to share, I forgot to say something. So when you try to do this, uh, you try to, on the edge, where on the end, try to not leave a piece like this because it's better, I don't, you know, a bigger, try to make it like a, like a bigger area after the fold because it's, it's just easier to make it. Um, yes, yeah, same. Do, so do the other piece. Try to not let the corner fall on the edge because it's not not work that well. <laughs> and also, like with the fabric, you need to choose what picture you like. Try to make that in center of the. The, 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 the window shade. See, now we have three of the other right window pieces. Now we got all these pieces and all the fabric pieces, and we're gonna sew them together. 
and they're gonna look fabulous. So last night I finished sewing all the pieces and I show you guys. Here is the side window. This side towards the inside, my beautiful bird and blossom. This is outside. And I add this suction cup to put it, you know, to stabilize it. And also the big back pieces. The back piece I didn't need a suction cup because the back window just naturally can seal. And um, I will put it up. And before that, I show you guys my other window. Other window, I didn't bother to do with this. I just use fabric. It's quite easy, and I'm happy with what it is. And what I did is just I use some ribbon and ribbon, just ribbon, or on a bungee jump, a bungee line. If you have, like, I just tied here and to all the way to the front handle there and then I just put use a piece of fabric and then add some suction cup one and two here to stabilize it and this side is the same bungee uh, ribbon suction cup and go all the way it can't really cover the front window but I have a piece of String, string here as well so I will add a piece of fabric on I'll put it on in a second this is what it looks like as you can see on the side window last night I didn't draw around the paper like use the paper do it properly so there's gap <laughs> so i might need to do it again but this is just the idea this looks all on the edge and uh, i'm gonna just cut this piece out and try on the other side of the window see if it fit perfectly <laughs> what it looks like after the final adjustment it looks like hardly any gap here I'm happy with it I didn't end up use the suction cup uh, uh, all I use just tuck in the edge that's the front and that's the side <laughs> 